Oh, readings, Tech Nerds, Tech Nerd 1.0 here with a little cold and stuffed up, but still making videos for you. Today we have a little Springfield magic here, courtesy of the good people at Bastion. That is right. And these are, let me get this in focus here. Now these are their magazine plates, here you go. I will also include this down below, right here. So you guys can all get that. All right, so just to. for full disclosure, Bastion did send these to me, and I said I would try them out and see what I thought. So, let's give these a whirl. And grab a couple of the magazines from my Springfield here. This is my Mod 2. This is just the XD. Because we are not allowed to have the XDM in New York State. But we can have it. We can't have the magazines though. Because they do not make 10 round XDM magazines. So. These are the previous base plates I have on there. Now these are just the standard ones from the factory. And I have these stickers on them, which I got from um, someone on eBay. I'm not sure who, who it was. And they're good. I like the, uh, as most of you know, I'm a big Boba Fett fan. So I like the Mythosaur design. It's also called a Bantha skull. It's also called Mandalorian skull been called several things <clears throat> but um, anyhow I wanted to give these a try also so now on first inspection I don't know these are uh, the one difference though is these are like aluminum pretty sure there's some type of metal that's got to be aluminum. Um, so they're actually a slight improvement over the <clears throat> over the standard or the stock plastic ones, as you can see here. Now, uh, in all honesty, these are a little bit expensive. They're uh, like 19 each which like I said is a little expensive for just having a design but if you add in the fact that like I said these are aluminum and it's going to protect your magazine a little bit more when you're dropping them um, it's a pretty good option especially if you're doing IDPA or IPSC or something like that I do IDPA I think these are actually a really great choice and the etching on them is really nice you can see here I don't know if I can get this to focus in that close but um, they're really nice I have to say uh, you know, if they were just regular plastic or something, I don't think it would be worth the cost. But um, beating the really nice material they are, I really kind of like them. So that's what they look like in the pistol itself. They look at them. they look really nice actually. Let's put the other one in. Now the other one they sent me is the, uh, it's the Punisher Skull or something similar to it. Again, they're really nice. They fit really well. And they, uh, they have a really sturdy feel to them. They really feel nice going in there. 
really do like the looks of that. I, uh, I think I may get a couple more of these. I have two more mags, actually. Um, I do wish they'd make the uh, Mandalorian skull, but uh, I'm actually so impressed with these. I think, uh, I think I can go without it. So, they're pretty cool. I like these. So, uh, again, that is, uh, those are by Bastion. And if I can get this to focus, there you go. They're at uh, magplates.com. You can also find them on Facebook. And you can order right from them. I think they also sell on... They also sell on eBay. I think they also sell on Amazon as well. So uh, if it's possible, uh, if they do sell on Amazon, I'll also put a link down here so you can grab them on my, uh, on my Amazon page, my Amazon store. So anyways, that's it for now. That's the Bastion bank plates. Very nice. So stay tuned. There will be more to come. Tack Nerd, signing out.